first question would be, why do you want to be a Pennsylvania senator? Uh, it's, it's funny you ask that question. Uh, if you've seen my television commercial uh, with my beautiful uh, family, my three daughters and, uh, and my wife, when we're filming that commercial and I look into the camera and say, I'm John Yadichak, I want to be your next state senator, one of my twins, Evelyn, uh, the two-year-old, would end the shot every time by asking the question, why? <laughs> Stop film, we got to it, it, retake. Every time she would ask the question, why? And I said, it, 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 she must be a, a Yadichak. She's a very astute uh, observer of, of political life because the first question you have to answer is why. Why do you want to be a state senator? I've been blessed to be a state representative uh, for the last uh, 12 years. A great opportunity given to me by the people of northeastern Pennsylvania where I, I, I got a, a, a tremendous opportunity to learn about state government. Uh, and, uh, and I want to be a state senator. Uh, if, if for two reasons. Uh, it, it, we have to create a culture of accountability in government. Uh, whether that's here in Luzerne County or in northeastern Pennsylvania uh, or whether that's Harrisburg. And, uh, and I believe uh, that I have both in, in, in action uh, and in word uh, have, have fostered a culture of accountability in my public life over the last 12 years. Uh, in, in, in making very difficult votes, in standing up. Uh, it, it's always easy to stand up to your enemies. Uh, it's hard to stand up to friends, and, and it's hard to stand up to your own party. Uh, uh, in 2001, one of the toughest votes of my early political career, probably just a sophomore legislator at the time, uh, uh, governor uh, at the time was Republican, and uh, but the Republican and Democratic leaders uh, he had made a deal that they were going to advance a 50 percent increase in pension benefits for legislators. And of course, uh, the sales pitch was that it would never, ever uh, impact taxpayers, uh, that it was, uh, as politicians often use the, uh, the, the word free money. This is not, this is going to be painless, uh, and the taxpayers aren't going to be stuck with the bill. Uh, I was one of, of only 23 to vote no on that pension, and one of only uh, probably three to refuse the 50% pension hike. So my pension multiplier is now less than, than all state employees uh, uh, and, and considerably less than, than my colleagues in the House. And that vote was simple for me uh, in the end because it, it, it was reflected that the kitchen table values that I learned at the, at the kitchen table of Joe and Sally Dichak, who were you know, my parents, hardworking, blue collar people that gave me every opportunity in life, sent me to college, sent me to Penn State. I still don't know how they did it uh, on, on, on their salaries, but uh, I went to Penn State and, and, and had all the opportunities uh, that I ever dreamed about. Uh, and uh, I remember the conversation with, with, with my father. He said, get some of your friends, get some of your buddies that, that you hang out with, sit down with them, explain to them what your salary is, explain to them what the, uh, the benefits of the job, and, uh, and tell them you need it 50% better when they're out there with a 401k, when they're out there struggling every day, worrying about uh, is their job going to be there tomorrow, tell them you don't have it good enough and then, and then make your decision on that, on that pension vote. It was an easy vote. I'm always going to reflect those common sense values uh, of, of northeastern Pennsylvania. And in and, and, and 2001, and I remember there was a different reporter here at the, uh, uh, at the Times Leader at the time, and he came into my office and, 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 and he wanted to know, he said, that's great, you voted no, but I want to know, uh, did you sign up for it? And, and because that was the mechanism, you had to sign up for it. And I said no, and, and he couldn't believe it. Uh, and uh, then you fast forward to 2005, we have another, uh, it happens to be a Democratic governor at this time, and, and, and Democrat and Republican leaders get together and make another deal, and everybody uh, is pressuring uh, uh, all the legislators to vote for a pay raise. And, uh, and I remember the phrase at the time, uh, is similar to the echoes of the pension, where it's never going to cost the taxpayers anything. The echo of the time was that nobody ever loses over a pay raise vote. Uh, well, a hundred and some legislators uh, were retired uh, after that vote. And so those two votes really reflect uh, what I've believed in, in my heart from the time I, I first ran for public office, that, that, that you need to have personal accountability and you have to create a culture of accountability in government. Uh, the scandals that has rocked northeastern Pennsylvania over the last several years uh, has created a crisis in confidence 
in government. And if you have a crisis in government, government can't do the things that are important to our lives. And why I want to be state senator is I want to restore that confidence and I want to get back to the simple things that people want. I've knocked on over 15,000 doors uh, uh, since I started this uh, campaign for the state senate uh, in February uh, in all parts uh, of northeastern Pennsylvania. And when you talk, when you talk to voters, when you talk to people on their front doorstep, uh, they're not talking about the complicated uh, issues that get banded about on television or in the newspapers. They, they want simple things, and this is why I'm running. I have a positive vision and plan for northeastern Pennsylvania. They want good economic opportunity. They want an opportunity at a good job. They want good schools for their kids. They want their kids to have an opportunity to be educated and have a better life. They want fair taxes. They want somebody that's uh, been a, a proven leader in the, in the drive to eliminate property taxes and cut property taxes, and they want safe neighborhoods. Uh, that's not a lot to ask for, for paying the bills. They pay the bills, and I think sometimes politicians forget that. Uh, they forget that those tax dollars are hard-earned, uh, and, and that, uh, that trust that's given uh, must be respected at all times, and, and I believe my record reflects that I've always respected the trust that has been given to me in, in voting no on the, on the pay raise and no on the pension. And even in this last uh, budget uh, debate, which was, of course, uh, the worst uh, budget debate in the history of the Commonwealth, very difficult time, uh, uh, it, there was a band of us uh, uh, that stood together, Republican and Democrat, uh, it, it, and stood up to uh, the leaders of our party, uh, to, the, to the governor and to the Democratic leaders, and, and, and told the governor the personal income tax increase is off the table. We will not be in favor. When folks are, are out of work, and there's double-digit unemployment, and, and, and they're concerned about their health care security, they're concerned about their next paycheck and their unemployment benefits running out, and when businesses, when we need businesses to create jobs, and 70% and uh, of, of small business in Pennsylvania, their, their corporate tax is that personal income tax that we're going to put and raise taxes and crush job creating efforts in, in the worst economic recession since the Great Depression. We stood up and we said no and, and we battled and it was not a, a, an easy decision. There was cuts that had to be made, cuts to programs that I care deeply about, uh, but cuts had to be made. Belt, belt had to be tightened. and so. Uh, I, I think uh, though that positive vision and plan uh, to create jobs, improve our schools, cut taxes, and create safe neighborhoods is the reason that I want to be the next state senator uh, so that, uh, that I, could, uh, I could fight for that positive vision and plan and so that I can continue, uh, uh, continue to create uh, on a personal level and, and as a public official a, a culture of accountability for government.